So from time to time, you tell yourself that the goal you have in life is unrealistic and even hopeless. Now this video, I'm gonna show you a way to handle this so that it's not gonna throw you off course. The problem with this type of situation is that this is anxiety and we believe these thoughts when they're there. And how do we know we believe them? Well, we have these feelings. So what I want you to start doing, and I'm gonna make this super quick, is notice the feelings when they come up and see if it's related to this belief. There are no original thoughts when it comes to anxiety or hopelessness. So if one client I've worked with has this thought of my goal is unrealistic and hopeless, the chances are, and the reason I'm making this video is that hundreds of thousands of other people out there will also have this thought, millions of people maybe. Now, isn't that interesting that so many of us have this thought? My goal is unrealistic and hopeless, and it's related to these horrible feelings. What are these feelings? Embarrassed, feeling stupid, like you've made a huge mistake. You feel unmotivated, sad, dejected, disappointed, anxious, as I've mentioned, afraid, miserable, and you feel pain in your body, emotional pain, uh, it shows up in your body. That is the cost of this belief. So this motivation just falls off a cliff with this. So with any of these types of beliefs, I want you to realize when you're having this thought, okay? Check in with the feelings that are there and realize it's because I'm believing that my goal is unrealistic and hopeless. And I want you to realize that the emotions that you're feeling in that moment are related to one thing and one thing only. It's not an objective analysis or an objective observation of the world or your situation. It is anxiety. It is just a belief. The belief causes these feelings. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to first figure out, okay, don't like how it makes me feel. Already motivated to drop it just because of that alone. And then I want to experience or imagine what it would feel like if I was in this exact same situation in my life and I wasn't believing this thought. What would that be like? Well, I'd feel more open, I'd feel more present, more grateful, optimistic, hopeful, more excited, more willing to act. So what we're doing here is we're weighing up life with this belief and life without this belief, even before we even look at whether or not it's true, which is the next step. So after you weigh up whether you like having this thought or not, and you're comparing your life with and without this belief, you should be motivated to say, wouldn't it be great if it wasn't true? Okay. So then the final step, look, is it true? Now, how do you know if this belief is true? My goal is unrealistic and hopeless. Well, what you do is you find out the exact opposite belief, which would be my goal is realistic and exciting. Now, if, if there's any evidence that that's true, your original fearful thought cannot be true. Okay, because if the opposite is, is true or there's evidence that it's true, the original thought cannot be true. It would make no sense. It would be like saying the sky is red and the sky is blue and saying both of those can be true at the same time. It's either true or it isn't. So my goal is realistic and exciting and really look see if there's evidence that it's realistic. And I promise you that if you look, you will find evidence that it's true. So it could be something like many people have already achieved this goal, or it could be I'm bringing value to people with this goal. Other things. I have a unique perspective that I can share with people. It could be something like I have plenty of time to achieve my goal. It could be I've already done a lot of work towards my goal that will stand to me in the future. So there's all these things once you start to be open-minded and start to look for them. And even if it's small to begin with, you can find it. Guys, this thought is only a thought. That's the point of this. I want you to get in touch with the power of your mind, the power that your thoughts have over your life. When you change your thinking, your life changes. Okay, The way you are emotionally in your day-to-day -day life changes. So just start to question these thoughts because all they are are just concepts.
and they can either help you or they can tear you down. And after a while, you begin to say, you know what, I don't want to live my life like this with these thoughts. And I'm not going to use positive thinking. I'm going to look at reality. I'm going to look and see if there's evidence that a more loving, compassionate, exciting, inspiring thought might be true. And I guarantee you, if you're, if you're looking for it, you will find it. My goal is realistic and exciting. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to tell you, whatever the goal is that you have, it's realistic and it's exciting. Okay? It's realistic and it's exciting. Look for the evidence. Start to hold that thought just for a little while, even if it's scary. Realize the price of having the other thought. My goal is unrealistic and hopeless. It makes me feel terrible. Are we seeing the power of our thoughts? Are we seeing the choice that we have to make, the choice for something more liberating in our lives? So that's an example. If you ever have this feeling that your goals are unrealistic and hopeless, I want you to come back and watch this video. I want you to watch this video again and again because it's not true. It's not true that your goals are unrealistic and hopeless. And even if you don't achieve your goal, just the very fact that you're working towards something that you want and feeling that it's realistic and exciting may not bring you to where you want to end up it may, but it may bring you somewhere even better than that, okay? So the point of it is not to let any negative thought throw you off course or throw you away from a course of action that you feel is exciting and right for your life because all they are are just concepts. They're not real. Guys, I hope that was helpful. hope that was somewhat inspiring. Um, of course, a lot of this, this content here, the approach I take to this is cognitive behavioral therapy or Byron Katie's work is a huge inspiration for the work I do. If you want to check out my work and get in touch with me, just go to my website, drdavidmaloney.com. And uh, if you're interested in these videos, um, maybe subscribe if you feel like subscribing, if you want to watch any more of these. It helps me reach more people, so I always appreciate it. It makes my day when I see people subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so thanks for everyone who has done so far. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.